let's take a look at the AI policy for this class. Basically, I only allow very limited use of generative AI tools such as ChatGPT. Generative AI tools can be used to facilitate an exploration of your ideas and of brain for brainstorming, but you should never be taking words or ideas from AI tools unless I've explicitly granted you permission to do so. Whenever you do use an AI tool, you should indicate the sections of the work where that happened. So if you are copying directly from an AI tool, you should be putting quotation marks and a citation. If you're using ideas generated by an AI tool, you should be giving a citation, uh, even if you are paraphrasing those ideas, right? This is the same rule as we would use if you were, say, using resources from Wiki, uh, ideas from Wikipedia. You went to Wikipedia and just copied and pasted from it, you'd be expected to put quotation marks and a citation. If you went to Wikipedia, read it and thought, oh, that's a great idea, I'm gonna reword it and put it in here, you'd still have to give credit to Wikipedia, right? Give that citation. The idea, basically, that the whole underlying concept behind um, our AI policy and our academic honesty policy more generally is don't use others' ideas or words and pass them off as your own. So if you're using AI and you are not appropriately quoting and citing it, you are trying to use these ideas and pass them off as your own. Now, AI might be like, but it's not someone else's words. It's not someone else's ideas. First of all, it actually is. Generative AIs are trained on large bodies of texts and texts were generated by humans. Um, but even so, it is still trying to pass off those ideas as your own. And that's part of the problem. So even if it's not plagiarism, which it arguably is, it is still cheating because you are still trying to pass off someone else's words or ideas as your own. So that's the general guiding principle here. Generative AI tools should not be used except at that sort of very early stage to flesh out your ideas. And they should be your ideas, but you can bounce them off of it like you might a classmate. Uh, this does not necessarily apply to Grammarly and AI tools that just help you edit your own words and ideas. Still, as this is class discussion, in class you wouldn't be using Grammarly, so I encourage you to just use your own words as they come out on our discussion as well.